everybody. So I thought that I would show you what I've been playing with lately. I've been taking photos that I take with my iPhone, like the one I'm showing here, and borrowing my husband's iPad Pro Mini while he's gone and at work, and his Apple Pen. And there's an app on his iPad Pro called Procreate, which is what I'm using here. And you, it's a drawing app, and I've been using it to create different uh, designs uh, in the app for making stencils. And I, when these kind of apps first came out, I, you know, didn't really see the necess necessity of them. Uh, like when computers first came out, I thought, I actually said to my husband, I remember, why do we need a computer? And then the internet came out and I said, why do we need the internet? I don't understand the point. Well, every time I've been wrong and I should know better. <laughs> um, that's it. That's the lesson in that story. So this is no different. And Procreate is a really fun app. Um, this is not a sponsored video. This is just my opinion. And I love creating these stencil designs in Procreate. And it sure does save a lot of steps because in the in the past when I've done uh, designs for my stencils or when I'm designing for my rubber stamp line, I do it the old-fashioned way. I create them on paper with ink and a pen and then I scan them into the computer, turn them into something digital, clean them up with a photo uh, application or a photo uh, editing program and then send them off to be published or be cut. And that's the hard way. That really is the hard way. This is so much easier. So I can use the Procreate app and the Apple Pen to create designs in the application. Obviously, as you see, erase very easily. There's lots of different um, settings for um, what kind of brush or pen or pencil stroke that you want, what color you want. I'm just doing black and white right now and erasing is very easy without wasting a lot of paper. Um, I can go back and forth with the design as much as I want to, and it is just saving a lot of time. I can't even tell you. So starting in September, I'm going to come out with some JPEG, uh, JPEGs of some of these designs that are gonna be available for download. You can use them, of course, as a digi. Uh, image if you want, but they're intended to be used as a stencil design. So if you have a silhouette or other stencil cutting system that allows you to import and trace JPEGs, that's what these are created for. You can import, you can buy these and download them into your system and then trace them and cut them out and make stencils out of them. So here I'm working on the one of these um, flower designs, uh, there's a few different ones, I'm not going to show them all here, but based on these flowers that I saw at a party recently when I was out with my husband and some friends, and then I realized that we have the same flower in a different color in our front yard. I'm so observant sometimes. So I thought it would make a really cute stencil, and so I decided to play with it here and create a stencil. Now this is in real time, I haven't sped it up. Uh, it just really just takes a few minutes. It's just me going back and forth until I get the basic shape to be exactly the way I want it. And if I don't, then I just hit the little eraser and I just erase those lines and go back in and hit the pen again. And I just love it. Now the pen does have to be charged up. You charge it up by pl actually plugging it into the iPad. But it's a handy little tool and I can see me um, at some point saving up to get the larger iPad Pro and my own Apple Pen for use, just for use in my studio. Um, I don't think I will be carrying it around anywhere. I have an iPad Air for that, but I think for um, studio work, this is very, very handy. And so, so easy, I can't even tell you. And getting the image to your computer is, I can't even tell you how easy that is. And if I had all Apple computer stuff, it would be even easier. I don't. I'm, I have a PC still, 
I'm saving up for an Apple um, desktop. Don't have it yet. So as I'm creating the design and looking the flower at the flower in my photo and drawing out the basic outline on my um, on on my on the iPad um, on the Procreate app, I, I'm here. I'm fussing with finding a pen mark that I want to use to fill in one that's nice and dark. And I end up going back to the same pen style and ink color that I used to draw the picture to begin with. Which is a studio pen, I think is the name of it. And I don't know why it's called that, but they have interesting names for things in the app. And I just, once I have an outline that I like, then I just color it in um, with, uh, so it's all black. And that gives me a better idea than just having the outline of the shapes and what they're going to look like in a stencil. Um, you want to make sure when you're doing this kind of thing, however you're doing it, even if you're doing it the old fashioned way, that you leave enough space between your shapes that they'll cut out easily on home stencil cutting systems. If you have these spaces too thin and narrow, it's really difficult to get them to cut properly. I know from experience. <laughs> I guess how I know that. Um, if you've ever tried to cut yourself one of my doodle stamped images on a stencil cutting system, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those guys are a bugger to get cut because they're too detailed. So these center of these flowers were kind of really hairy and I wanted to give some indication um, or hint of that. So I just put these little hairs sticking off the top of the center of that flower. And then I just went around and cleaned up the edges. And now I'm going to fill in all the petals and the stem. And I will refine shapes as I need to as I'm going around if I find that I need to change the shape of something. I do end up creating three of these flower shapes. I don't uh, film them all, but I do end up creating three of these flower shapes the day that I'm working on this. And I've added those to a small library of stencil designs that will come out September 1st in my Etsy shop, again as JPEGs. If you have a silhouette uh, system, then I have been using dollar store fi plastic file folders to cut my stencils. And I use the vinyl setting. Uh, I set my blade depth at five and I set my speed at three. No, four, four. And um, the, the depth, the thickness is 33. And don't forget to hit double cut. I'll have directions for that in the description below in case I got one of those numbers wrong. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have the specifics for that in the description below and in all the um, Etsy listings in case um, some of you have uh, silhouettes and in case I got any of those numbers wrong just now because it's first thing in the morning and I've barely had my coffee, <laughs> to be honest with you. I still have a cup here, but I don't think drinking coffee is going to sound great over the microphone. So here we're going around and we're just coloring in and once you start coloring in your shapes in black, then you can really get a great idea of what it's going to look like as a stencil and if you're going to like it or not. And if you don't like it, then, you know, you, this is really easy to change it on here. You know, if this was paper and a pen, um, you'd have to get out some white out or some white paint. And then if you, when you go to scan it, it's not going to scan properly and there'd be a lot of things to clean up and uh, you'd almost have to go to a clean piece of paper and believe me I've done plenty of that this is so much easier it takes you literally just a few minutes and you've got your design done and you can download it to your computer and print it or scan it uh, with your cutting software and cut it out and it's just so much easier. I was completely wrong when I said, why do we need that? I, yes, I want more, please, I want more. <laughs> so right now I'm saving up for an Apple desktop and my own iPad Pro. So here we go, we're gonna color the last 
pedal, but first I'm going to change. Yeah, see, so there I was erase, doing some erasing because I didn't like. There were some little tiny fine um, pen marks, little hairs that I wasn't happy with. I wanted it to be a little smoother. So I'm going to go back in. And depending on how hard I push on the pen um, gives me a thicker line. So if I want a very light, thin line, then I just don't press very hard and I get a thin, a thin line. And so here we go. We're going to color in the last one. And then I'm going to completely change my mind about the flower center. Although there's nothing wrong with the way it looks right now. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. At least not in this instance. So I'm taking a look at it and I'm thinking, hmm, it's not exactly what I want. I click on the eraser, I do something drastic. <laughs> yeah, and erase a big blob in the center of a flower. I know, I know. <laughs> You'll like the way it turns out, trust me. And there's a couple, like I said, there's a few other versions of it. You may like one of the other versions of this flower or, or the flower seed. Um, uh, head thing that I did from the same photo. Uh, go look in my Etsy shop. If when you see this, the listings are live, I will post the links in the description below. If the links are not there, it's because it's not live yet. And then I just clean up my lines and I'm just turning it around. So I'm hopefully not getting my hand on the surface of the iPad pro um, too much because if you can see the little black dot that's off by itself on the left side there of the screen um, if I hit it the right way then I can make a dot just like with paper and pen when you smudge it yeah see there I go I'm going to erase it I'm adding more of the little hairs to the flower center and I just kind of like the abstract suggestive shape of having the center of that flower head like cut out like that. I really like that. So there we go. So now I am going to forget exactly how it is that I want to save it. Um, well, after I fix the stem, I forgot I did that. I decided the stem was too thick. I wanted something thinner and more delicate. So I redrew the stem. I forgot about that. And there we have it. That's the finished design. So before I do anything, I'm going to just really take a good hard look at it and you can, of course, save this at any stage that you decide works for you. And if that way you have a progression, so say that you'd go too far and you decide you like an older version better, that works. So I'm going to click on the little wrench and I forget how I'm trying to figure out or remember how it is that I send it to myself from my husband's iPad. And I'm constantly forgetting. First I'm taking a look at it and deciding if I like it or not and I do and that is fine. And I'm I really I end up deciding that what I just said that I really want to save this version before I go on and change it at all and so I'm going to do that but to do that I'm actually going to need my iPad so I go walk out into the living room really quick and I grab my iPad, which is just an iPad Air, and I turn it on off camera so that hopefully you guys don't see my password, although I think I've shown it by accident on camera before. There we go. So there's my iPad. And I open up my photos on the iPad. Sorry about the glare from the overhead light. Then I click on the corner and I, and that's wrong. So then I click on the image again. I click on the wrench and then I was like, okay, wait, what do I click on to save the photo? I forget. 
Nope, I can't keep clicking on that. What is it? It's a save artwork. It's right underneath my hand. I just don't even see it. It was like I didn't have all my coffee this morning. I don't know. So there we go, save artwork. So then I hit JPEG. And then I give it a minute and, my, and I'm going to airdrop it to my iPad by hitting the GA and then it shows up on my iPad and I hit accept and there you go. From there I can put it into Dropbox and once it's in Dropbox I have access to it everywhere. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do and um, that you have some fun with it and um, if you have some kind of uh, drawing app Give it a shot and see if you can come up with some stencil designs. I'd love to see what you do. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have some fun. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.